Hello everyone, this is Sidekick Jason doing another unboxing video today. Um, I was not planning on doing this unboxing video at all, so in my last unboxing video I did, I said that that was all the PlayRail engines I had on hand, and I wasn't planning on reviewing any others, but um, crazy story. So I was actually just two days ago over at um, Walmart, and the local Walmart here in, in my in the town that I'm living in right now, and they happen to have this item, like no joke, this item, which is crazy because this item was released in 2011. As you can see, it's part of the Day of the Diesels um, merchandise that they created specifically for the special. And it was, yeah, it came out in 2011 and it was just there, new in the box on the shelf. And I was just appalled by it. Like it, it was just sitting there um, on, on a top shelf there, uh, not really far away, like clearly someone placed it there. It must have been in the back or something or someone returned it or I don't know, but it was just crazy um, that it was just there amongst all like the big world, big adventures, three packs and whatnot. So, um, of course, I got this because one, this is a rarer Trackmaster item. And then, I mean, how could I pass up the opportunity <laughs> considering that like this new in the box item just happened to be there. So uh, really cool that that just was there. I, I would love to know the story about how this item got there, but um, I probably will never know. It was interesting because when I was checking out, they actually tried to stop me from buying it. Like the um, the computer system wasn't registering the item and the associate that came up and was helping me said, oh, this item has been discontinued or no, it's been recalled. And so we can't. Um, we can't sell it, this and that. And I was, I asked the lady, I was like, I, this item was discontinued forever ago. Is there any way I can get it? And um, she was uh, she was able to find it on the computer system, but they had to do a lot of searching for it. Um, and so, yeah, it was cool. So I was able to get it in the end. And so I thought, hey, let's unbox it since I've got it. Um, I'm sure some people won't be happy that I'm taking this new in the box item and unboxing it, but oh well. Uh, if you buy an item, I think you're free to do whatever you want with it. So um, I'm going to unbox it and I'm gonna show you guys and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So first off, let's take a look at the packaging. So this is actually one of my favorite styles of packaging, like of Thomas Merchandise of all time, because it's all about the actual item itself. Like you, you can see the toy, like, and that's it. Like there, there's no, extra fluffiness, no extreme box art or anything. Like it is just the item and it sells itself. And I love it, just everything's transparent. And it, it sorry, it, it was my favorite style. Um, the smaller ones that they did too were also my favorite style. I, this was just an awesome era Fisher Price. Um, so even though I despise Trackmaster 2, I actually really liked a lot of the stuff that they did um, before the, the change in, in 2014. So yeah, so, Going through, we've got the Day of the Diesels um, like promotional sticker that they threw on there. You can see the old Trackmaster logo. Um, Den at the Diesel Works is the specific name of this particular three pack. Uh, I believe Den was sold alone later, but this was his original release. As you can see, it was new at the time. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. It's got the kind of the gold bar there because it's supposed to be a little different in packaging to match the Day of the Diesels look. Um, from what I understand, I saw that this is apparently the 2012 box art. Um, there was a different one that had like a the red right here and that was the 2011. So I thought that was interesting. Um, it's so cool because here in the box art, you can see like the front of the engine and the face and everything. So, you know, you can't hide quality in this. Um, they got the name on this side. You can hear my neighbor's baby crying now. Maybe, I don't know if the mic's picking that up, but there's definitely a crying baby outside the door. Anyways, um, yeah, same thing on this side, which is really cool. Um, then on the bottom, it's just a lot of unnecessary, well not, a lot of necessary information that doesn't really um, that interest a lot of people, uh, but I I do like that old tagline that they used to have: "Your track to action and adventure." Ah, oh, I miss the old days of Trackmaster. But anyways, so that is the packaging. So let's open it up, and it's so easy to open up too because it's taped here, 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 here. So pretty easy. We're just gonna take the knife, 
through there. Nothing too tricky. I could probably even re rebox this. See, the thing is, I can't. I don't think this was ever opened because I'm not seeing extra like tape, and I doubt someone would have the exact size tape that they had the initial packaging. So, all right, there we go. Um, oh, I love this. This is awesome. I love the base too. It's just oh, so cool. Like you can almost make like a little display stand with it. But anyways, so yeah, really cool. Um, but the items don't fall out because the the wheels have holes in them and they put little um, rods through it. So we've got to actually, I don't know which side we'll do. What, oh, we'll do this side. So if you open it up, <gasps> yes, yes. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go through this in a little bit, but I loved these. Like this, yeah, one of the great bonuses of buying, buying the trains. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, this makes sense. So the reason why I'm very unfamiliar with these is that I hardly bought any um, engines at this time. Like they were good quality toys, but I wasn't gonna spend my money back in high school on, well, middle school and high school on items that I knew I wasn't going to use on my series. Like I was very conservative in my spending on only stuff um, related to my series seasons one through five. And that's why I don't have a lot of these. And that, that's why I'm unfamiliar with this. So they put rods through all the wheels. So we just, Oh, it's a little tougher than I thought. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So there's the flatbed. Second wagon. And Den himself. Yeah, I, I really don't think someone had this prior because of, it just seems, yeah, which is odd because I wonder how, was, like, what happened? Was this just lost in the back room? Anyways, okay. So there's the bottom of the packaging without any engines on it, which is really cool, because it, like, looks, it fits the CGI series so perfectly. Um, just, like, a little side note. Like, I'd, it'd be fun to make, like, a little display and put, like, Thomas on there and whatnot. So, I mean, that looks really good. It'd be cool if, you know, Bachman made, um, like, tape that you can put down that looks like tracks, but they put like the Thomas logo all through it. It'd be cool if it like actually just looked like this itself and ha you could just tape that around because I think that would look, I mean, really solid. So yeah. Oh, well, but that's the old packaging. Um, I don't think they've used this on any of the new Trackmaster Revolution packaging, but this was really common. You can tell it's the, it's got very fine ballast there. So it was actually animated by um, Nitrogen Productions. So yeah, anyways, so that's that. I'll move that off to the side. Um, okay, so let's look at the items themselves. Oh, the wrong order. We'll go through, we'll do Den last. So first thing is this flatbed, which, um, is very interesting. I'm surprised that they chose this flatbed to be as, you know, part of the three pack. Um, I'm sure a lot of you actually don't know the, the history behind this. So um, this flatbed was actually, it first came out under Hit Toys and it was part of the, I think it was Rosie's Funfair uh, Trucks and Track Pack, where it was just like the three um, trucks that were just with three pieces of track and that, that's how they sold them. It didn't come with any engines or anything. Anyways, this flatbed actually had a coach on top. So it actually had a um, piece that fit on top of here. It was the refreshment ladies um, tea room, tea coach. And it like had a little pop out thing, but it was really cool because I bought that pack and I had no idea um, when I had it that, that the thing just pops off. And then you have this nice multiple, uh, Sorry, uh, 
what is the word I'm thinking? I cannot think of the word. Um, multifunctional. Um, there's a word and I can't think of it. Anyways, the, um, yeah, so you could use it as a flatbed. You could use it as a coach. It's really cool. That's why it has these little um, bars right here because that's where the, the coach part was around it. Um, really cool. The only thing I don't understand, and I mean, it's not a huge deal, but this isn't black like all the other versions I've had. This is like navy. So it's like almost black, but not quite, um, which I thought was really interesting choice. But, you know, it it fits. I mean, he's at the Diesel Works, so this is definitely a wagon that you would find at the Diesel Works. So, yeah. Um, then they have a standard red van, um, which is, this is just a repainted um, van from Playrell. So the reason why they have it is because Playrell, um, it's normally gray. They, they have it on a lot of their regular um, rolling stock there in Japan, but they um, they included it with Henry in his original Tomy three. Well, his was a three pack, but he came with two additional cars. Anyways, so he um, yeah he came with this, and then they've used it since. But they've obviously you know done lots of different colors and stuff. And I believe Trackmaster Two still has it as well, and they do. A lot of other weird colors with it as well but yeah so I mean it's kind of plain it's bright so it kind of fits the the time frame where all the rolling stock was very bright um, and it's not bad though because you know there's red box cars um, in the Thomas that well in on Sodor all the time so um, it would have been cool if they like painted the roof gray but you know it's no big deal um, still a nice piece of rolling stock I usually like to use these um, with my Scarlowy railway uh, sets and, and stories and whatnot, just because there's, um, it fits more of the look in my opinion. So yeah, anyways, that's that. And then here is the man of the hour, Den himself. And wow, this is just a good looking engine. So I know I bag on Fisher Price a lot, but man, they, they used to do high quality stuff and I really miss the types of products that they used to make. So Anyways, let's go through this. Um, my only issue is that he's, he's kind of long, um, probably longer than he needs to be, but it's fine. There was two different versions of this product. One where he had a orange, his side rods here were painted orange. I wish that it would have been that way, but hey, I randomly found it in a store, so I'm, I'm grateful for what I got. Um, it's cool because they painted um, the sides here with the stripe. They even have the Vickerstown Diesel Works logo. Let's see if that'll focus in. Maybe. Sorry, I'm sniffling so much. I've been sick over the past few days. It sucked. Anywho. Um, yeah, so that looks really nice. Um, then, let's see what else. So, they even have these steps, which is really cool. Um, just the little details that they, they've put in, as you guys can see, um, which is really nice. Then, here on the front, the face is awesome. Very CGI. Um, the buffers are painted, which is awesome. And then they actually painted like the, the hazard stripes and whatnot. So like, that's super cool. Like I, I, there is like, I can't really think of anything that's actually like wrong with this. Maybe he's missing his um, front windows. But other than that, like everything's painted, everything's solid. So, you know, it, it doesn't feel like this is before they started cheapening out on a lot of stuff, which is what we see now. But anyways, um, they even have spots for his uh, lamps there. I mean, they're not painted white. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know if his actual CGI model, if they are black or white. I think they're black, which might be why they didn't paint them. But anyways, looks great. Uh, same thing on this side. What's cool is that they actually put the gap here um, rather than filling it in. <clears throat> for what his actual engine has and what's cool if you see they actually painted down there like I mean you'd never find that nowadays with the toys but they actually painted down inside there so yeah really cool um, backside is even painted which you know you hardly ever find nowadays with the toys so yeah and he's I mean you can see the little um, knobs there like the door handles uh, okay so there's a lamp there that they didn't paint or maybe that's supposed to be his coupling I don't know um, but yeah really cool uh, just a great great design overall I'm really impressed with this so yeah um, okay let's open him up all right and unlike the issues with the player ones I'm just skipping straight to the 
uh, bigger handle screwdriver, so I'm not gonna have any issues not being able to get them off. Maybe. Oh crap, that hole might be too deep. Oh gosh. Oh goodness, I grabbed the wrong screwdriver. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I grabbed the other one. If he's too stiff, then there's absolutely no way we're getting him out. So let's hope it works. I don't think it'll be as tight as play rail. Maybe. I'm just gonna have to cut out all this footage because I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch me trying to struggle with this. That was annoying. So <laughs> I had to go find a completely different screwdriver, but we got it off. So, okay, interesting. I've never seen the inside of this type of engine, so I was very curious how they designed it. So they use the standard um, play rail, not play rail, um, Trackmaster motor, the one that they used um, during the Hit Toys era and then Fisher Price era, and it, I mean it's my favorite type of motor. Anyways, um, the interesting thing is they ma they made him longer when he probably didn't really need to be longer. Um, I mean probably they were trying to make room for the wheels here and whatnot, but um, yeah, because I mean you got all that space that they could have condensed it, but it's fine. Um, looks really good. So let's oh that's the inside over here. Interesting. So it looks like you could actually take them apart even more. So he's like got like an inner and an outer shell. So interesting. He he looks a lot like a play rail, um, like his body type, which is very interesting to me. Um, okay, so here is a battery. Runs just like any good old Trackmaster would. I wish that they would have renamed Trackmaster when they changed it in 2014, because then I could clarify the difference between them. Okay. Awesome. It's actually pretty quiet. Probably because it has all the extra plastic around on the outside, but I mean, that's pretty nice. Okay, so sadly I do not have um, a bunch of curves out. I only have straight pieces a chance, but we'll just let them run through on that really fast. Um, and then we're gonna take a look at the classic collector's guide and the um, instruction manuals, because those were some of my favorite things as a kid. So I know it's not Trackmaster track, and this is a Trackmaster engine, but I mean, I'm always using blue track, so you guys really can't be that surprised. So. Pretty smooth. Runs like you should, no problems. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. I think any kid would be happy to have gotten this back in the day. So yeah, really cool item. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's enough of Den. Let's, okay, let's first look at the instruction manual and then we'll look at um, the collector's guide. So before the collector's guides were made by Trackmaster, um, Tomy released these, uh, well, they would include them with each engine, these instruction manuals. Um, and I believe that this is basically like the exact same, just a couple of things were changed. Like a lot of these images and stuff are still the same ones that, that Tomy had. So what I loved about it is that every engine that was like for sale at the time was included. So you could always see like what, um, what characters were in development or hadn't been released yet because you know they just had all the ones that, that were there at the time. Um, I love how they, there were so many different ways too that they, um, to change the batteries. You can see the prototype um, bash and dash right there, which is really cool. Um, oh, that looks like a prototype den. Interesting. Um, but yeah, that, that picture of Thomas and some of the others, oh, they look like they're Trackmaster, not the Tony versions. Um, 
a lot of the drawings are very, very Tomy. Like, if you look at this on Emily, that is clearly Murdoch right there, not Emily. And so they use the old illustration for Murdoch. Anyways, um, yeah. So these are all the ones they had Ferdinand. I actually don't own a Ferdinand. That one's kind of different. I'll have to look into getting one. Um, don't own a motorized Rocky. All the diesels and duck who just randomly gets lumped in there. The tender engines. Oh, interesting. So it looks like by this time when this engine had been released, James had actually been converted into the, the single where, where like his motor was um, in his cab rather than having it in the tender. So it looks like, yeah, James is included up here. Weird, okay, interesting. I always preferred this style, but yeah, that's kind of the direction that they moved. Anyway, so those were, I mean, I love these back in the day. I'd always look at the Tomy ones to see what was available. I remember when Hit Toys released like Airy and Burt and a lot of those other ones, it was crazy to see the all like the large amount of engines that they had included. Okay, well, appreciate you guys watching. So there's good old Den in all of his glory. Great toy, great find. I still cannot believe I found him, but yeah, he's an awesome product. If you happen to randomly find him at your Walmart as well, I would highly recommend you get him. Um, he's like, He's pretty expensive on eBay for a single engine. So, I mean, I've seen some for 30, but also I've seen them for way more. But overall, great item. It's a shame that if he actually was out, I would probably um, buy a couple and then like repaint them or something and use them as mainland diesels. But since he's so rare, I don't think I will since I just have the one. But yeah, anyways, oh, love this just CGI look. It looks so great. When they do toys right, they just look great. Anyways, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you all later.